Your engine instruments and a nuts here. Lights quality malfunction by type and engine number. Take action on my command. You guys ready to go? Crew members and meteorologists on board a P-3 Orion finalize checklists and prepare for a one-of-a-kind mission. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, depart Ielsen Air Force Base, Alaska on an eight-hour mission toward the fringes of the Arctic Ocean. The goal of the meteorologists is to analyze how the atmosphere responds to ice cover compared to open water then investigate how that plays a direct role in the weather patterns that flow down and affect the continental United States. Ice control switches. All right. This is accomplished by dropping tube-like instruments on parachutes known as drop sons to gather data above the icy surface. Research meteorologist Dr. Nick Bond explains the importance of the drop sons in this operation. They're getting the atmospheric properties from 20,000 feet all the way down to the surface, the temperature, humidity, wind direction, wind speed. And so they're absolutely necessary for giving this kind of context for the detailed measurements we get near the surface. This small but key government entity knows that today's Arctic research holds interest from both a DOD and scientific perspective. So receiving support from the Ielsen team is extremely beneficial to the success of the mission. With regards to the science, we're as close as we can possibly be to the uh, area of operations where we want to work. And then uh, the support we receive, we're a small government entity. We only have a handful of aircraft that we operate, so we frequently rely on the support of other agencies or commercial vendors. And being able to have all that support in one place here at Ielsen is huge for us. The, uh, Reporting from Ielsen Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Jason Treffrey. Uh, definitely roll out to the end. Okay.